Korea's constitutional court says a decades-old treaty between Korea and Japan regarding compensation for Korean victims forced into labor during Japan's colonial rule is not subject to being ruled on its constitutionality in a verdict issued this Wednesday. Kwon Sawa brings us the details. Complainant Lee yun whose father died due to forced labor for Japanese companies during Japan's 1910 to 1945 colonial rule of Korea, filed a case to Korea's constitutional court in November 2009, saying that a 1965 treaty between Korea and Japan is unconstitutional. It was the longest case to stay unsettled at Korea's constitutional court. What came out in Wednesday's verdict is that there is to be no change to the bilateral agreement. At issue was whether Article 1, Clause 2 of the treaty, the Korea-Japan Claim Settlement Agreement violates the property, rights and interests of individuals. If the court had ruled in E's favor, Japanese companies may have been made responsible for compensating individuals who were forced to work for them during the colonial period. Tokyo claims the issue was settled by the 1965 treaty, a point made again by Japanese Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida on Tuesday when he said he would be keeping a close eye on the ruling, although without making a prediction about the outcome. The court's decision is receiving extra attention in both Korea and Japan, as this year marks the 50th anniversary of diplomatic ties between the two countries, whose relations since then have been repeatedly strained by historical and territorial issues. So uh, with this is the decision, uh, probably the individual's pursuit of the suit uh, will have some uh, obstacles. But uh, with this uh, decision, probably the relations between Korea and Japan will be, in a sense, kind of a student, which does not mean that uh, talk about or talk on the issue of a comfort warming issue will be uh, improved much. But, you know, uh, as I mentioned, there are many difficulties yet uh, left, but uh, I think it could give a good signal that uh, we can pursue to solve on the issue of a comfort warming issue. Korea's Foreign Affairs Ministry said it had no specific reaction to the ruling, but earlier in the day, Seoul's Foreign Affairs Minister Yoon Byung-se had expressed his hope for a, quote, wise decision by the court, saying as the world is getting smaller, these kinds of issues are no longer limited to individual countries, but that the world is watching. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.